Hey, how's it going? It's John from the Bankston Woodshop, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to give a product review on the Bora Centipede. Now, this is a um, instant expandable workbench, essentially. Um, you throw it down, it opens up, uh, you throw a piece of MDF or OSB or whatever material you have on um, across the top, and it'll act as your workbench. Uh, it does come with some X braces that will hold 2x4s and then some quick clamps that'll hold down your um, plywood or whatever material you decide to use. So one concern I do have before even opening this is the work surface height. Um, I'm not a super tall guy, I'm around six foot, six one, um, but if it's not an appropriate height, I'll have to kind of be bent over most of the time working on it. Uh, Bora does make some extensions that'll just fit right on the top of there. I don't have any yet, um, but looking forward to getting some of those if I need to. So let's get this thing opened up and see what's inside. All right, so I got this centipede unboxed and pulled out all the accessories and components. Uh, what came in it was the clearing case for the actual centipede. We got four of these quick clamps and then we had four of these X braces that I was telling you about, and these will hold two by fours. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up so I can show you kind of how that works. All right, so to open the system up, all you gotta do is grab two of these things from the top, you just kind of move them sideways. And then your four by eight work surface is set up. All right, so what I've done is I've taken some three quarter inch uh, plywood that's two foot by four foot, and I've just kind of thrown it up on the work system. Um, the quick clamps, they're not great for, I mean, like I can just pull it out. It's not really stuck down there real hard, but if I hold on to this, this leg and I try to pull up on the piece, it's actually clamped down pretty well. Um, and that's because there's this little rubberized coating um, on the clamp that acts as friction when being pulled up on, but really allows you to kind of a quick release system. Um, so it's actually pretty sturdy. My only concern, like I said in the beginning, is the height. Uh, I am kind of tall, and this doesn't seem like a great work surface for me because like, I, I have to bend down kind of far um, in order to use it. But I wish it was up about another probably four or five inches, um, and I think that would make a better work surface for me. Uh, so what I'm gonna move on to now is those X braces, so you can see how it fits a two by four and how you can make a work surface out of that. Okay, so what I did here is I kind of configured it into the uh, two by four setup with those X braces. Um, I did happen to have some eight foot two by fours laying around um, that I'm gonna be using for a build later. Um, in a future project. Now, what this will do is it allow me to create more of a stable base for um, a work surface. I could screw right down into this. Uh, if I had a piece of MDF or OSB or whatever, um, and then it'll just kind of uh, create more of a stable base. Now, another thing that I'm gonna do is instead of using two by fours, uh, I'm actually gonna use a four by four to elevate my surface um, so hopefully that gives me a better working height. So let's take a look at that. All right, so what I've gone ahead and done was replace the two by fours with four by fours and throw in a, that piece of uh, quarter inch plywood, I'm sorry, three quarter inch plywood. And uh, that gave me a much more suitable working height for myself. Uh, this is a great way to uh, have a workbench if you have a small shop or if you need to say park cars in your garage or you're on a construction site. Uh, it's quick, easy to set up, tear down, um, and move on. Uh, it's pretty solid, it's pretty sturdy. The only issue I have is it's side-to-side -side movement here. Um, but other than that, this is a great addition to my shop, and you will be seeing it in future builds. Uh, I will provide a link down below if you want to purchase something like this for your shop. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tear the system down, show you how easy that is. Uh, it's just as easy as setting it up, no issues. So I found the best way to close this up is to simply grab two of these and lift it up and turn the whole thing together. And there it is, the whole system packed up, ready to go. 
So in all in all, I'm glad I have this addition to my shop. You'll be seeing it in future builds. Thank you for taking the time to watch this Bora Centipede S15 review. Please leave a comment below about the video and what your favorite tool in your shop is. Please don't forget to give that thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.